Okay, first thing is to um, set the HDMI input of this TV to the uh, proper settings for the PC. So uh, we go to the home dashboard of the TV by uh, pressing the home button. Then we go into this particular home dashboard and we go to the here to edit inputs. So we go here and options and edit inputs. I have all, all, all inputs set as the PC, but if you don't have it for the uh, connection you are using uh, for the PC, for the input for the PC, you need to press here and uh, select the PC icon. Then uh, the uh, input will be um, <coughs> set to the appropriate mode. You can uh, tell if it's good by uh, spamming uh, with the green button on the remote a couple of times, uh, five or six times, really, really fast. Spam it all. As you can see, uh, on the top we have VRR information. So we have uh, 120 Hz enabled, it's a 4K at 120Hz and RGB 10-bit uh, mode. You, need, you can uh, go out of this uh, menu by just pressing back on the remote. The second uh, setting is the input mode. We need to enable Deep Color for the, for the HDMI input for 10-bit color support. Uh, so we need to uh, long press the uh, gear button to enter the settings. Then go to general. Then go to devices, HDMI settings, HDMI deep color. And here we need to set 4K for the 10-bit uh, color. If you don't have it, just select here and you will be okay. Now, for the PC usage, we need to um, dis disable all the AI things that this um, screen has. So, um, we need to go to General, AI Service, and uh, first of all, we need to turn off the AI brightness settings, brightness settings, uh, and that's uh, all here. The next, next thing is very important, it's the same general menu, it's OLED care. Uh, first we need to go to device self care and to energy saving and this energy saving step we need to set to off. Because if we don't do this, uh, each time we start the TV, it will go into energy saving mode, uh, setting the brightness uh, to very uh, low levels. Uh, it's also important to uh, set, for example, 4 hours to auto power off for the screen in case it is enabled and we don't know about it, uh, we can just, it, it will uh, shut down itself to uh, save the screen and prevent uh, screen rotation. Then we need to go to all the funnel care. Here are two uh, important things. First is screen move uh, for gaming. Um, it's not that annoying, but I've heard that for document use uh, it can be annoying because it slightly moves, I think, uh, uh, the shifts around the, the screen display to prevent uh, a retention. But for gaming, I didn't see any problems with having it on. Also, we need to adjust logo brightness. Uh, this should be set to high. 
Uh, some people say it should be set too low, but uh, I've contacted the LG support and they say that it should be set too high uh, for the maximum uh, prevention of uh, image retention. So this should be set too high. Then uh, the next setting, we go to picture and uh, select mode the game optimizer needs to be uh, cho chosen for the uh, PC gaming. Then we can go to advanced settings, set, set the brightness, adjust contrast, set the black levels or gamma or video range. Video range should be set, set to full for full RGB support. My OLED pixel brightness is 35. I mainly uh, play in low light conditions at evenings or something but uh, I must say that even with that settings during the day I see everything uh, with no problems uh, okay so there, that's for brightness uh, the color um, the color gamut uh, the best is to set to auto detect is some say uh, but I really like the native so I think it's it's just a, a matter of preference uh, as to the color temperature I had it set to zero but you know that it's it's, it's a matter of preference for now, I'm not gonna change it. I'm gonna leave it as it was. So, color gamut native. Uh, when uh, we have selected the picture mode game optimizer, we can um, jump to the game optimizer menu by short pressing the gear button. It's gonna open many like this so we can uh, check what are the settings as you can see I have FPS 120 I have VR set to off uh, if you have uh, problems maintaining the um, frame rate uh, above 120 then you should have uh, variable refresh rate enabled so it will adapt and uh, prevent tearing. Uh, I don't have it enabled, enabled because uh, I don't see a point at this moment. Uh, we can also check here for the game optimizer options. Uh, we can uh, choose different options depending on the type of game. I have this uh, set to standard. Uh, for me, the important setting here is prevent input de delay. Uh, I have set it to boost for maximum, for minimum input delay. Uh, and yeah, VRR G-Sync here enabled. And yeah, so you can uh, have some tweaking here of the picture as well, the block stabilizer and all that. But uh, you know, I'm, I'm just using it with with default settings. Uh, there's also a, a hidden menu menu. Uh, if you uh, press, uh, I think four times the mute button. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's uh, the select the additional menu pops uh, out, and there is a. Uh, many show LG logo when turning off the TV that will sh uh, show or not the logo when uh, turning off the TV no signal image is those colorful images that will be shown when uh, the TV is on and uh, there is no signal I think this uh, should be turned on because it is better to show those full screen images they are changing from from time to time than just having the high contrast uh, texts showing no input 
information because it can uh, lead to uh, image retention.